Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Seok Bukuli from uh, Hanyang University, uh, South Korea. Uh, I'm very happy to present uh, our work, uh, sharing private in vehicle dash cam video in NSDI. This is ongoing work uh, of our gr uh, group and our group members, Minho Kim, uh, Jamin Lim, Hyun Yu, uh, Gion Kim, uh, Professor Young Un Kim, and myself. Okay, a dash cam is onboard camera that continues to record the view around the vehicle. And dash cams uh, has been very popular in many parts of Asia. For example, uh, in South Korea, the, the adoption rate is already exceed 60%. And main reason people install the uh, dash cam in their vehicle is for their own safety. Uh, however, a dash cam has as a side uh, benefit, has tremendous uh, potential to act as a, a silent witness to others' accident. So police want to collect their uh, videos because uh, they provide a complete picture of what happened in the accident. But the today, the collection, the, the, way, the way of collection is the kind of old-fashioned. So, for example, uh, police make a public announcement and people just voluntarily uh, hand in their videos. So uh, this kind of current uh, process seriously limit the participation of the general public uh, due to the following reason. First, people is reluctant to share their videos in fear of the revealing their location history. So people want strong uh, anonymity. Second, uh, the people do not really, I mean, they're not uh, interested in the things that uh, really they concern to them. So uh, they need some uh, uh, incentive. And third, people do not like to be annoyed by the manual procedure. So we need some automation for hassle-free participation. So in order to address this uh, limitation, the main goal of this project is to build the automated system that enables sharing of dash cam videos under owner's anonymity. So for example, uh, police investigating the past accident that happened at location X and Y, and police request to this system for video uh, that happened location and X and Y, and this system returns the, the corresponding videos. So this is automated system. So this is main goal of this project, but there's a challenges. Because of anonymity and rewarding, the system has to verify the location and time of the video. And this verification should not rely on existing infrastructure such as 3G or 4G, uh, where the user identity can be exposed. So there is this, this kind of conflicting goals, and especially between the uh, user perspective and system perspective. So in order to address uh, these challenges, we take the following approaches. First, uh, each video uh, uh, usually the, the dash cam video is one minute, uh, the files. Each video file, each one minute video file is represented by uh, profiles. So we took, the, we took the profile approach. So this profile is very compact form of each video and anonymized video, anonymized video profile called anonymized BP is treated as entity for search and verification and reward instead of their owners. And this also leads to minimal overhead because original videos are not transmitted unless they are verified, taken near, actual near the uh, accident place. Second, we take the, uh, we leverage the DR DSRC-based inter-vehicle communication. Uh, especially, we exploit line of sight property of DSRC to link between uh, VPs. They share the same site while driving. So we use this uh, line of sight-based VP links to build map of visibility around the uh, accident and identify BPs whose original video are worth reviewing. So only those videos are uh, anonymously requested to users and uh, uh, uploaded to the server. So we call our system view map, and this picture shows the overall framework of the view map. And upper part is the system, and the lower part is the user, and user upload only VP, not the original video, only VP to the system whenever connected to the internet 
using the anonymous channels. And each vehicle, they exchange VPs while they drive it using DSRC communication. And this DSRC communication has line of sight property. So, so the connected VP highly likely share the same view. And uploaded VP is stored at the VP database, I mean, view profile database, and accumulating the VP information in the database. And when the investigation is required, and this system verify the validity of VP using some uh, mechanism that I will describe later. And uh, once the VP is verified, then the original video is requested using the anonymous channel. Okay, from now on, I'm going to uh, talk about a little more detail. So basically, each one minute video is presented by a view profile, VP. And each VP con contains three parts, three elements. One minute uh, time and uh, one minute location trajectory. And second, their fingerprint information. I mean, the, you can consider this as a hash of the video. And third is a fingerprint of neighbor vehicles a video. So basically, they, they exchange this information using DSRC. So that means they share the same site, highly likely share the same site. And this VP is generated in real time and stored in the car. And whenever a car is connected to the internet, it's upload this VP to information to the servers, I mean, the, the system. So this is anonymized VP stored in the system. However, this even anonymized VP are subject to tracking. If you look at this uh, uh, example, it's very easy for system to track uh, this certain user, for example, user A, I mean the, the vehicle A, because every VP has trajectory information and this, the trajectory, I mean VP from the same user ha can be consecutively placed. So it's very easy for, syst for system to track the uh, certain users. So in order to protect against tracking, vehicle occasionally generate guard VP. And guard VP is generated in a way that guard VP's starting point start from the neighbor VP's start point and end at this own VP's end point. So from A's, per, from A's perspective, I mean, the, from system's perspective, system cannot uh, this determine where A eventually uh, heading to. So in this way, we keep VP database and the privacy, pro privacy protected database. So essentially, the system keep maintains a VP database, which is anony which is anony uh, which is has anonymity VPs and also uh, protected from location tracking. And when the investigation is required. System start to verify VPs by constructing view maps. So in this example, uh, police want to investigate certain uh, accident that happened the, around this uh, the blue blue dot blue blue dot circles. And system retrieve the VPs that happen at this point, and also system draw, uh, system retrieve the trusted BP. Trusted BP is actually uh, uploaded by the, the authorities, for such as police cars. And system also draw other BPs that are uh, located between this trust BP and uh, this uh, the BP that in investigation site. And using this uh, graph, system verifies the validity of, validity of BPs. And we call this graph as view map. And this view map is actually one minute snapshot of during the instant accident uh, period. So if accident lasts for five minutes, then we have the five different this snapshot VPs, I mean, uh, uh, view maps. 
And in this graph, uh, each node is VP and the edge between uh, VP is the, the, the connection, the real time connection using the DSR. So the edge means they, the two, the two nodes likely share the same site. The one interesting uh, part of this VMAP structure is that if all the members are legitimate VPs and it looks single layers, it appears single layers. However, if there's attacker and attacker injects some fake BPs, then it appears multi layers. Because when we create this view map, every node is linked, every node edge is checked to the, the location only meeting, and also this edge is double checked. So, in order to inject the BUP at the investigation site, attacker should have some uh, chain, should have some chain to this uh, location, to this investigation site. So, if there's a fake BP, it looks like multi-layer structure. So, in order, we want to, our goal is filter out these uh, fake BPs. So, we adopt trust rank algorithm, which is variant to uh, page length algorithm. And it's the trust rank algorithm. The trust seed has uh, initial probability of one and, and trust scores. And this trust score is propagated over the, the all the nodes through, uh, through the, this link structure. So when we run this trust rank algorithm over this BMAP structure, the legitimate VPs have highly likely have higher score than the fake node. So in this way, we can filter out the fake, fake VPs. So once the system uh, determines the legitimate VPs, system need to request the original videos. So the system posts the original ID of the v, uh, original ID of the verified VP and the users when access to uh, the system, check the, the match their uh, ID, and if there's a match, the, the user upload the original videos anonymously. So we evaluate the verification performance and also the user location um, privacy performance. Uh, Left graph is about the user uh, privacy and right uh, graph is about the uh, verification accuracy. In the left graph, the x-axis is uh, the driving time and y-axis is the uh, uh, tracking success ratio. And as you see that as driving time increase, the uh, system tracking success ratio is decreased and its, it's tracking success ratio is less than uh, 0.1. And if you look at the right graph, the verification accuracy is, is almost always 95% above. We also performed a real road experiment. We make the Raspberry Pi as the ViewMap enabled dash cam. And uh, Major goal of this, uh, the purpose of this field, uh, field measurement is aimed to answer the following two questions. Does our BP links really reflect the line of sight property in, in reality? Second question is, what are the real, real, impl real implications of such line of sight property on linked BP and their uh, videos? So we first measure the uh, VP link ratio between between two vehicles. And in this graph, x axis is distance between two vehicles, and y axis is the, the uh, VP linkage ratio. We conduct experiment in the uh, various environment, and you see that in an open environment, this linkage ratio is 100%, but in other case, they dynamically changed. And we observed that 
line of sight condition is the dominating factor to this uh, link, VP link uh, result. And in, in order to verify, in order to more uh, control the condition, we conduct the experiment in a, in a more uh, Yeah, various conditions. Here we trade two vehicles in a line of sight environment and non line of sight environment. And you see that in a long, non line of sight environment, the VP links just drop dramatically. But on the other hand, in line of sight environment, the link uh, rate is very high. And we also measured. The, the, the last column on video, the last column on video indicate the case that either vehicle captured in other side video, I mean other side video. And you see that there's a clear dependency between the VP links and video content. And we quantify these two events using correlation. And correlation result is high, higher than 0.7. And this result indicates that VP link is indeed associated with the shared view because we two event is two independent event, but when you measure this correlation, that their correlation is very high. So then this means this also indicate this also suggests that if the accident vehicle is itself is VMAP NL vehicle, so it has VP, then we only need to collect the its direct VP. Because they, 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 they highly likely share the same view. OK, so uh, there are more uh, details and other uh, elements in, uh, in our paper. For example, anonymous rewording and video privacy and analysis and prototype implementation. And you can find this uh, detail in the paper. And this is my uh, last slide. So in this work, we uh, introduced new application, which has unique uh, challenges, and location privacy, location authentication, only rewarding, video privacy at the same, same time. And we proposed BMAP, which is a comprehensive solution package for this uh, problem. And our key insight is to use a line of sight property of DSRC to link between videos, in the, they, they share the same site, and also inter-vehicle communication to create a past confusion so that uh, we can uh, protect against uh, location tracking. So this is uh, the end of the, my uh, presentation, and thanks for listening. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, Sukbak. Questions? I'll ask one. Um, okay. How does all this uh, change in a world of self-driving cars? Uh, yeah, that, that's a very good question. Actually, self-driving car must have more, I mean, uh, camera sensors. So uh, self-driving car really drive this uh, dash cam the market. So I, I know that there, the, in, in US, uh, dash cam is not, uh, not adopted very well, right? So, uh, Self-driving car must have a camera, so we can uh, imp we can de deploy this VMAP with uh, self I mean, self-driving cars. So. Um, another question. Yeah. Uh, Greg Hill from yeah, Stanford sorry. University. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering if you are driving and there's nobody nearby, how do you maintain like anonymity? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, that's a good question. So our uh, anonymity is from come from the neighbor's vehicle, actually. So if in that case, the location tracking is possible, it's possible. But our uh, scenario is like urban uh, the road case. So uh, we think that's a really rare case. But that's a good point because in the early deployment uh, stage, there might be a small number of vehicles. So, uh, yeah, you, you're right. So, uh, that's some part we need to think about. But, yeah, that's, that's current yes, limitation, right? Yeah. 
with uh, rideshare uh, vehicles, you know, Uber, Lyft, are the privacy considerations different than for private cars? Uh, I think so. So actually, I, I don't know where, where to classify them, but uh, there are clearly two uh, the, uh, the classes. One is the authority, it's like police car, and the other is the, the, the normal users. And uh, Uber car or taxi drivers are somewhere in the, in the middle. So uh, I, I'm not really sure at this point uh, whether to put them, but yeah. It, it depends on the, their, their trust. Uber yeah. in the middle yeah. between police and yeah. private customers. Yeah. OK. Any, any other questions from the audience? OK, so let's thank uh, the speaker again. Yeah, thank you.